Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. In today's video, I am going to be bringing you through a little Costco haul as well as some like food prep and we're gonna put some food away and get it all ready for the upcoming week. So let's go ahead and get into this. So we got some strawberries and some baby bell cheese, which was on sale. So I'll be including the sale price as well as like what the original price would be on the screen. We also picked up some mangoes, which I will be prepping some of them later on. So three of them were pretty ripe. The other three were a little bit more firm. So those will be going in our fridge. And like I said, I'll be cutting these up in just a little bit. And then we picked up this two pack of muffins. So for $9.99, you get 12 muffins, which I think is a really great deal. They are very large, really like you only need half. So we also will be preparing these as well towards the end of the video. You guys can see that two of the chocolate ones are already missing because before I could even like get all of the groceries in, Juan had stolen a muffin, then Aubrey wanted one and I was like, wait. But anyways, they are just so good. So that is why we are missing two muffins. We got some soft soap just kind of to replenish the soap around our house some dried strawberries these are absolutely delicious they are like candy and a healthier snack than you know some other things that you could indulge in and then I saw some plastic bins which I was kind of looking for so I was happy to see that they were on sale so I snatched them up I will be probably making some sensory boxes with them and labeling them with my Cricut and making it all fancy in a future video so if you are not subscribed make sure you subscribe because I am super looking forward to that but one of the main reasons I went to Costco was to look to see if ours had these sensory bins so I'm giving you a little glance at what this entire collection you know contains but for $20 you get like kinetic sand more moldable sand as they'll call it because it's not a kinetic sand brand you get little trinkets and little figurines and molds that you can create designs with the sand as well as this nice large container that you can have all of the sensory material in and they have like a dinosaur and space themed one and then like a unicorn cupcake donut one as well so for just 20 bucks, I think this makes an incredible gift. I'm excited to give this as a gift to my kids and watch them have fun and play with them. So I'm hanging on to these until Christmas time, which is where I found these, kind of where they're starting to put out Christmas stuff. So keep an eye out for this if you guys want a really easy and really awesome gift. And finally, I picked up some sodas for Juan. He loves his Diet Pepsi or Diet Coke, so I picked that up. And then I got to prepping these muffins and starting to like put everything away so what I'm doing is I'm cutting up the muffins in half I could have done quarters especially if I was preparing for like a brunch or a get-together where there was gonna be a lot more items you know offered but I figured we would just be eating these for breakfast over the you know course of the next week or so so I just decided to cut them in half wrap them in saran wrap and then I'm putting them in a freezer bag and I will be sticking eight of these in the freezer and then keeping the remaining halves out just so that we can kind of consume them within the following days. And then the ones in the freezer can stay in there as long as we want or we can take them out and I'm pretty sure they defrost fairly quickly. Now, if you have a larger family, you probably don't need to do this step. I'm sure that you can probably consume these 12 muffins rather quickly. But if you have a smaller family or if you want to try to motivate your family to not eat these as quickly, you can definitely use this method and stick them in the freezer to save and kind of delay the consumption of these delicious muffins. Based on how quickly everything's been consumed, I think the next time I'll probably just have to get two chocolate packs because those are kind of the more popular flavor amongst Juan and Aubrey. I really do like the blueberry ones, but I like the chocolate as well. So note to self, next time just get two chocolates because those are the ones being eaten the fastest. It's also worth mentioning that I noticed some like pumpkin spice version of these muffins. So that is also an option. And then what I'm doing here is I am saving some of the plastic so that Aubrey and I can make some shrinky dinks at some point in the near future.
So like I said, we're putting some of them out just for us to enjoy, you know, in the next day or two, and then the rest are going in the freezer. And while I am in the garage, you know, going through that freezer, let's go ahead and say hi to our little baby chicks. They have changed a lot in just like a week. They're getting more of their adult feathers, but <laughs> they're all sleeping there because it was pretty late. And then I moved on to cutting up the mangoes. Not gonna lie, this first one I cut in like the wrong direction. It, re it really fooled me. I thought the pit was facing the other way. So and what I ended up doing was just kind of making slices all the way through the fruit and the skin and then trimming off the skin for each piece. In the past, I have kind of created these little slits in the half of the mango kind of doing crisscrosses and then pushing the mango skin like up so that it, it flares out and you can see the little cubes of mango you know as a more decorative cutting style but I don't know I've, I've kind of figured this way is for me the easiest way to get the most fruit in the little cubes that I'm creating. But let me know if you guys cut your mangoes a different way. I've seen some people like peel all the skin off first and then cut the fruit. I kind of feel like that would be messier. I don't know. Let me know if you have a different way than the ones I described. But this is kind of what works for me here, especially if you kind of cut in the wrong direction like I did at first. I am also going to be saving the pits of the mango because there was a substantial amount of fruit on them. But by this time at night, I had already began my like intermittent fasting. So I wasn't going to like just munch on them there. So I went ahead and just threw them in an airtight container and enjoyed them the next day. But anyways, I'd like to thank you guys for watching today's video. Please don't forget to subscribe. I am looking forward to making some sensory bins in the future. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will catch you guys in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.